Hey everyone, how's it going? Sam here. And in this video, I want to show you how you can combine lots of animations inside of After Effects. In this video, I'm going to be combining two animations. However, you can combine as many as your After Effects will run properly with. I think so. So yeah, <laughs> how many your After Effects can support without crashing. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be combining this dog animation and this broken um, link animation, which are two error state animations, which I found on lottiefiles.com. So these are our animations on Lottie files. I really like this one, nice little dog. And then we've got the broken chain, broken link icon. Um, so I'm going to start off with the, uh, with the doge. I'm going to grab the Lottie animation URL, head into After Effects, open up the plugins window and open up body moving inside of body moving i'm going to press the import button and import this animation from URL. okay so that one's finished and i can uh, see the pre-comp here check that it's working and that's looking great uh, it's just imported. It's it's imported. It's imported it really well, so that's really good. And I'm gonna head, gonna go ahead and import the broken link. So the same thing. Grab the lotti URL and import this one too. So that's finished importing. I can just go ahead and close the body moving plugin. And this one actually has expression errors, which hasn't happened to me before. So. I'm just going to sort them out. Here we've got a variable uh, and it looks like it was um, attached to controls which don't exist anymore. So I'm just gonna delete the expression. Delete this one. Um, delete that one. And delete that one. And I think it's gonna be red in some parts. So we're going to change the color of the links. Okay, and okay, so yeah, it's the middle one's red, and these bits are red. Okay, so maybe I should make it. I quite like this pink, off red pink color. Um, so if I can just grab it with the with that. There we go. Grab it. Copy. Broken link. Um, okay, so we've got color here. Let's just change the stroke. And then we've got these guys. Change the fill. Do do do. And then the outside links need changing. Okay, so we've got our two animations. You can either um, then just drag one pre-comp into the other or create a new one perhaps. So it's the size you like. Um, I quite like my animations to be 512 by 512. So let's do that. Let's create a new one. Gonna import the dog. Going to import the dog wherever that went. And the dog swimming. So dog swimming is a bit large. Let's just scale it down. Okay, and the broken link is a bit large as well, I think. And I want it to be on the top right. Let's just move it up. And that's good there. Okay, and um, okay, let's just see how that plays out. Okay, broken link. And if I pause it there, 
you, as you can see, this isn't a perfect loop. So I can actually go ahead and at three seconds, this can be the breakpoint. So I'm going to pre-comp it again. Dog and chain. And um, we can do some time remapping. Time, enable time remapping. And let's just make the comp a bit longer. So I have some space to work properly. And okay, so we're gonna keyframe the time at three seconds. And uh, after three seconds, after three seconds, I want it to go back to the start of the animation. So let's just grab the first keyframe, paste it there. And here we go. Chain breaks and goes back. And the dog's um, looping nicely. So that's pretty cool. And I want it to just pause for three frames at the middle point. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these frames. So it should pause and then there we go. So that's looking good. Yep, and it's pausing nicely. So we've combined our two animations successfully. And I just want to check inside of Lottie using the Lottie Fast plugin. Um, so this is just the quick way to do it. Go into main animation. Time mapping is, time remapping, sorry, is supported with Lottie, um, at least on Lottie web. So this should work fine. Let's render it out. Link is coming up, it's breaking and going back. And voila, we have successfully combined two Lottie animations. And as I said, you can do this with as many Lottie animations as you want, as long as your After Effects doesn't crash. And you can successfully import your Lottie animations because not all of them can be imported correctly. And um, gradients aren't uh, can't be imported. You have to recreate them yourself. Um, and I showed how I showed you how to do that in my previous video. Um, so that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you out. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.